Hey guys, it's Sigourney here, and welcome to Gore's Weekly Recap for the week of December 28th, 2015. Hello everybody, once again, of course, it is the start of a brand new week. Hopefully you guys are doing okay, and all that jazz. If I do sound tired or unenergetic, as always, that means I'm recording this just after I woke up. Hopefully you guys are kind of used to this morning voice by now, this kind of grovelly, you know, bassy mess i guess <laughs> you, you guys probably heard it quite a few times before especially with this show that's a running theme i think with this show it occasionally happens uh today i am recording nice and early monday morning because max is coming around very very soon which is the first thing i want to talk about so i'm trying to kind of quickly get this video done before he comes around so that you know uh, he doesn't have to awkwardly, like, sit in the corner whilst I record this. So, that's what I'm trying to do first. So, yeah, Max is coming around today for uh, Monday and Tuesday. Uh, he's going to sleep over. That's what he usually does because, you know, it's quite a distance between mine and his house. So, it's easier for him to stay the night and, you know do like a full kind of two days uh, that also means it's great because we can get a lot recorded so that is the plan aside from him you know just having fun and of course playing some of the new games I got for Christmas and basically just any kind of games he missed in November as well so I picked up quite a few like Fallout 4, Black Ops 3, Just Cause 3 um, and some more stuff that I got at Christmas which I'll get onto in just a moment uh, he really he really wants to try some of them out so that's probably what he'll be doing aside from we'll also be recording a lot uh, the plan is to record a bunch of two Brits play which uh, you guys know is kind of like the let's play series kind of like Gore plays but with me and Max, but the problem is, obviously, you know, uh, Max doesn't have an Xbox One, so it's not like we can really play co-op games. The only time we can really uh, record that show at the moment is when he comes around my house. So, um, yeah, the, the plan is to record, like, a bunch of them and then try save them as much as possible. I'm going to maybe upload them like once every two weeks. So every other week, you guys will have a two Brits play for as long as I've recorded for. And then of course, we have to get him back around again, record some more, all that kind of stuff. Because, uh, you know, a lot of you guys seem to enjoy that. I really enjoy recording them because, you know, obviously Max is my best friend. We obviously get on quite well. So those videos, especially when I go back and edit them, it's... I don't know, just something about re-watching it, uh, it always makes me laugh like a second time or a third time or what have you. Um, so I really do enjoy making those shows. And uh, the plan is, when we record today, I'm going to try something else out. Because obviously, when I'm just using the mic by myself, like now, there's obviously like no background noise. You know, it probably sounds somewhat decent. All you guys said, I got pretty good audio, which is, you know, that's, that's, hope, that's good. That's, that's the plan. Um, but when there's two people trying to share one microphone, you kind of both have to sit back from it. Um, and at that point, there's a bit more background noise. Maybe sounds like a bit echoey sometimes. Um, which is a slight issue. So the plan is today to try use two microphones. Now, fortunately, I don't have like another condenser microphone. That'd be obviously ideal to have like two Blue Yetis or something like that that we could both use. Um, but I'm not about to drop, you know, like another 90 quid on another Yeti that Max uses like two times every two months or something like that. Um, so yeah, I'm not prepared to do that. But I was thinking maybe if I use like... Well, originally I was planning to get like a headset mic because, you know, headset mics are somewhat decent quality. Um, and Max could obviously use that while I have my regular mic, my Blue Yeti, right in front of my mouth. Uh, but I don't actually have one, or at least not that's decent quality. I got like some Turtle Beach X12s that I've had for like five years now. I haven't been used in like a good two years, I think. They're just on like my shelf over there. Uh, it, that's probably, the mic's probably battered to absolute shit on that, so we won't be using that, but the plan is to just use like my iPhone, like try to get that as close to Max as possible. So Max uses that for BritBox, and even though obviously it picks up a lot of background noise, that's also to do with his household and obviously other people being in his household and stuff like that. Um, but obviously, you know, it's fairly, I have a fairly quiet ha household, especially my room is, you know, pretty quiet for the most part, so I'm hoping that'll kind of work as well. Having two different mics, one closer to Max, one closer to me. Uh, the audio should be a bit better for Tubers play. At least that's the plan. Uh, anyway, guys, in other news, uh, let's quickly go through this before Max gets here. He said he was meant to get here at 10. It's currently half 10, but I knew that was going to happen. He's like always later than he says because obviously, you know, it takes quite a while to get to my house and stuff like that. But anyway, let's talk about Christmas, guys. Christmas did happen. Hopefully, you guys did have a Merry Christmas and all that good stuff. Uh, hopefully, it went all good for you and stuff like that. Uh, Christmas pretty good for me as normal. You know, it's getting pretty great. I'm definitely getting to that stage now where 
Um, I don't get as excited for Christmas. Like, I still enjoy it. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love Christmas. It's my favorite, like, holiday and kind of time of the year. But uh, I wasn't super hyped for it or anything like that, as I would be, you know, like a couple of years ago or something like that. Um, but either way, you know, it went pretty well. Got some cool stuff. Thanks to my mum and dad. Um, I got some new computer parts. I got a, uh, basically, I asked for some hard drives because I was running out of space. So I got a Samsung 850 Evo uh 120 gigabyte and that is going to be my recording drive that's the plan because at the moment i just record to my main hard drive because i only have two i only have my ssd at the moment in my computer for my programs and my of the windows operating system um and then i have my big four terabyte western digital hard drive for basically just everything else like all my video stuff um it's okay, but I'd prefer to record to a separate drive that just, you know, it, it just makes things a bit better, especially when recording PC games. Um, so that's what that's for. The 120 gigabyte is going to be my recording drive. And then I also got another Western Digital, digital Hard Drive. It is only a 2 terabyte, though. This time I didn't want to get another 4 terabyte or a 3 terabyte because Windows, at least 8.1, I need to upgrade to Windows 10. That's something else I want to talk about uh, later on in this video. Um... With Windows 8.1, it's a little weird when you have a hard drive over uh, two terabytes. It's like kind of splits it in half, which is really annoying. Um, I went through like so much hassle trying to sort that out when I first built my PC. I did get it sorted so that it's just one drive because that's what I wanted it as. But it kind of splits it in two, which is really stupid. And it's kind of difficult to, um, you know, put back together, I guess, into a, like one drive. So I just got a two terabyte one, so hopefully I don't have to mess about that. They both still need to be installed. Um, the plan is to upgrade to Windows 10 beforehand and then install them. I don't know why. I just kind of want to upgrade to Windows 10. I've had the notifications sitting on my computer for like ever, like six months or something. Or well, not six months. Maybe in six months. I don't know. At least like three, four months. It's just been kind of sat there. Um, so the plans to upgrade very soon. I, I wanted to get your guys' opinion, actually. You know, just a second opinion. What do you guys think of Windows 10? Have you upgraded? Was it a good idea? Or do you wish you could kind of go back and revert the changes? Um, from what I've heard, you know, it it's all right. There's nothing really wrong with it. Your program should work all the same and stuff like that, which is obviously the big one for me. I need all my editing software, recording software, uh, and all that kind of stuff to work perfectly. Um, when I upgrade, because obviously I don't have to mess about re-downloading, resetting up everything, how I had it before. Um, so, hope, yeah, well, yeah, that, that's the plan. If it, if it, everything stays the same, it's just Windows 10, then that should be fine by me. Um, but yeah, let me know, guys, what's Windows 10 like in the comments below. Um, also, got some other stuff for Christmas, mainly games as well, mainly computer parts and games. That's what it's kind of come down to right now. I got Tom Carty's Rainbow Six Siege, which I haven't played yet since the open beta, so I'm really excited to get back into that. I uh, also got Witcher 3, which is going to be pretty cool. Can't wait to hop into that because, of course, that did win Game of the Year. And uh, but I, I wanted to pick Witcher up ever since it came out on launch. Like, I thought it looked like such a cool game. Haven't played the previous two but you know I, I just thought the idea of the witcher looked pretty cool and always wanted to pick up never got around to it so now i got that for christmas which is pretty cool and i also got tomb raider uh well rise of the tomb raider which is the newest one and uh yeah I, I, that, that's the one i've actually played out of the uh four games i got for xbox one and uh it's, it's actually pretty cool like I, I really enjoyed the previous tomb raider a lot of people didn't because they were probably like kind of classic fans of the series i guess and i think it went a bit more generic maybe or at least that's what i've heard uh, but either way i really enjoyed uh the tomb raider definitive edition on xbox one so this is just kind of like more of that in a sense uh with like better graphics and stuff and obviously like a new storyline you get to kind of see lara's backstory and stuff so i'm having a lot of fun with that game and uh the other game i got is brothers a tale of two sons which uh, you guys may not have heard about it's more of a kind of small scale game I don't really know if it's an indie game as such, but um, definitely a smaller game um, But apparently it's like a really good Story driven game like it's only like three hours long or something like that But apparently like it's really kind of um, it is re it's a really kind of emotional story um, And I just wanted to try it out my man TB um Obviously, you know, I mentioned him many times before on the channel. He's a big... He's a guy that I really, really look up to. A big inspiration of mine. Um, he said that it was, like, one of his games of the year. Or it may be his favorite game of all time. I can't remember. Uh, but he said something along those lines. So, also for that fact, I wanted to pick it up and, you know, see what it was about and stuff. Uh, so... 
you know, uh, he said the best way to experience it is to kind of like block out a good three, four hours one day where you're not going to be disturbed or anything like that and just play it solid all the way through. Um, and you may like tear up a bit, at least that's what he said. So uh, that's the plan. I need to kind of figure out a day to do that. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to give that one a go as well. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for today. Wrapping things up, let's get to video of the week. It have to be stuff to do in Just Cause 3, Santa's Slay. Uh, last week, it was stuff to do in Just Cause 3, Surfing Pro Paint Tanks. This week, stuff to do in was Santa's Slay, which is a bit more Christmassy themed and stuff like that. Basically, I tried to build Santa's Slay in Just Cause 3. After that, it didn't work. Um, I tried like other methods and stuff of delivering pre presents pretty much and uh yeah hopefully you guys do enjoy it. if you enjoyed the previous stuff to do and you'll probably enjoy this one as well it's pretty much more of that but a new thing to do a new stuff to do so here's a preview click the notification or the uh annotation and i'll take you right over there Hey guys, it's the Goronator here. It's that time of year once again, a day to celebrate with friends and family, eat lots of food, get fucking trolleyed, and most importantly, open presents. But whilst you're waiting for that glorious day to come around, here's some other stuff to do in Just Cause 3. And finally guys, to wrap up the video, let's uh, take a look at your guys' comments of the week. Some ones that particularly stood out to me. The first one here is from Danzar HD. Once again, my man who's a bit of a local, bit of a regular, on the channel uh, and uh, he says awesome video once again bro I featured you in my latest video because you are truly one of the most underrated youtubers Danza thank you man so much I did actually watch that video as soon as um, you told me about it and yeah it was, it was a pretty cool video pretty good quality man so keep it keep up the good work with your channel and everything and just thank you for all the support really do appreciate it the next one here is from a new guy to the channel called Legend Yeti, who says, Found out about you through Zyro. Now, I've been in the search for a really small channel that could bring content that bigger channels can produce, and so far, you're about the only one I know that can do that. I'm also a YouTuber on the works. This is my new channel that I decided to make because I wanted to keep my channel slash content clean, fun, and professional, unlike my other channel. I haven't yet made a video on this channel because I'm waiting until I finish building my PC so I can actually use my Elgato to record the content I want to create, which is funny moments with my friends. I don't want to be like every other channel that just does commentaries. It might be weird to say it, but you, sir, are one of my inspirations to keep on trying. The reason that is, it's because you have amazing content that I'd like to create as well. And to me, that proves that a small YouTuber can create amazing content just like any famous YouTuber. That's all I care about, the content. P.S. is a really fucking long comment, lol. Firstly, yeah, Legend Yeti, yes, that was a pretty long comment, but I absolutely love that, man. Guys, don't worry about the length of your comment. However small or long it may be, I just love interacting with you guys. love hearing what you guys have to say, so if you want to write, like, a whole paragraph or something like that, go ahead. I will. I, I read every single one and hopefully reply to every single one, so uh, don't worry about it. Uh, but, yeah, Legend Yeti, man, thank you so much for the comment, man, and uh, that, that's really cool to hear. That, that still amazes me when people say that I'm like one of their inspirations like I heard it a few times not very often but I hear it occasionally um and that is like really heartwarming to hear that that is really cool to hear that you guys just inspired by me shouting at NPCs and video games and you know have, having a bit of laugh um over here so uh, that's really cool and what you said there guys the reason I, I, I really wanted to feature this comment is because of the message he's put across there is that like, not, not just me, like he's referring to in this case, but anybody, any of you guys can make content just as well, or even better than much, much larger YouTubers out there, okay? Just because they got a bunch of subscribers doesn't mean they make great content, doesn't mean they make the best content, and just because you may not have many subscribers, not have many fans, not get many views on your videos, doesn't mean that they're bad, okay? Please don't think that they're bad because they're not getting any attention. YouTube is so saturated that... That happens a lot. A lot of good content just gets swept under the radar because there's so much of it and it's hard to find. It's hard to get up on that search bar. But guys, just stick at it, okay? Keep going and uh, one day, hopefully, you'll get noticed. And anyway, guys, the final comment here is from uh, Matthew Santos, a slightly smaller one, <laughs> which, you know, is good because Max is probably going to be here very soon. So let's wrap up the video. He says, Merry Christmas to you, Goronator. You are awesome, and I think you should have more subscribers. Thank you, Matthew, for that very nice comment. And Merry Christmas to you, man. I know it's a little late, but Merry Christmas to everybody watching this. Hope you guys did have a good Christmas and all that good stuff. It is going to be 2016, guys, very, very soon. So uh, next week in Gorzuki Recap, I plan to talk about uh, just kind of 
have a little look, have a little review of 2015, see how that went and uh, how we did with the channel. Uh, you know, just like a little recap, as I do, of course, a little recap, right? That makes sense. And also talk about kind of like my news res resolutions and goals next week. So uh, stay tuned for that if you want to hear that kind of stuff. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button if you have enjoyed. Subscribe for more content from myself. Guys, please do have a great rest of your week. I love your faces. I'll see you guys next time. For the first two, three, maybe hundred times of getting this much enjoyment out of it. Can you grapple on it? Oh, wouldn't oh you can! Guys, we're going to Mars! It'll become a little stale. However, there's far more things you can send into orbit. A motorcycle, for example.